Hi, I'm Rachel with Seven and All, and this is episode five of Dishes and Discipleship, a series of outside the box devotions, especially for families who are looking to disciple their kids and to keep communicating um, the love of God and the love of Jesus during these times when most of us are not allowed to meet with our normal church family and are trying to do church at home. I'm excited that you've joined us for another episode in this series, so keep watching. In this episode, we're going to be talking about breakfast. It comes once a day. The mornings in our homes are a time of preparation for the new day. We get dressed in fresh clothes, we make new food, um, we begin in a list of tasks that are part of beginning our daily lives in each new day. How can we use the newness of each morning to remind ourselves and our families of God, the way that He loves us, and the ways that we can be more like Him and have the type of love that He has for the people that He has given us to love? What's the connection between morning and the love of God? Well, right now, a lot of us are maybe not having the best mornings of our lives. The COVID-19 pandemic has a lot of people feeling very fearful and stressed and worried. We may not be waking up in the best of moods. Many people are waking up feeling tired from the worry and stress and um, tasks of the day before and aren't feeling very hopeful about the future. Uh, it's, it's a little bit harder than normal to feel hopeful and excited for the days to come and to feel like good things are ahead. But mornings are fresh and new and there's something important about the way we need to think as we start each new day. Uh, the Book of Lamentations was uh, written about a very hard and difficult and quite awful time in Israel's history. Uh, in the history of the Hebrew people. But there's a very interesting passage in, right in the middle of the book of Lamentations that I would like to share with you. Lamentations 3 verses 22 through 23 reads, The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. What is very interesting about this verse is that it was written in the midst of great grief during a terrible time for the Hebrew people. It was written um, about and during the Babylonian captivity of Israel. This reflection is um, coming in the mix, midst of laments about this time in their history. This was a time of uncertainty, fear, suffering, and loneliness. Does that sound familiar to anybody right now? They reflected at this time that the love of God has no end, that his mercies are new every morning, and his faithfulness is great. So, it's breakfast time, a new day. Besides brushing our teeth and combing our hair, what else needs to be made fresh and new? What about our mercies? Are you worn out from all that your family needed from you yesterday and unsure about how you will continue to meet the new challenges of today? What would fresh mercy look like in your family? What about putting the frustrations of yesterday aside and making the daily commitment to live gracefully today? Talk with your family about the fact that yesterday's mercies are not what's needed for today. When we get caught up in thinking about what I did yesterday or what I've done in the past for my family, I may forget what is needed right in front of me today. God's mercies are new every day. Everything that signals a new day should sing to us of this characteristic of God. Morning alarms and the sounds of the family at the breakfast table. His mercies are new every morning. And because of our participation in his new mercies, ours are new every day as well. We can look forward to tomorrow without despair 
because our understanding is that with each new day, there will be renewed mercy and there will be continued great faithfulness from the God that we serve. Make a choice to celebrate the newness of the day in your own family. Each morning should bring a renewed commitment to mercy and to faithfulness within our own homes as we seek to live lives characterized by extravagant love. You can choose to, as a family, decide to greet each morning with the prayer, God, may we share in your new mercies this morning. May we walk faithfully in love and in mercy for those you have given us. Amen. May this cup of orange juice or a cup of coffee, if you prefer, speak to you of the new mercies that God has for us each and every day. And may you continue to live lives of extravagant love towards the people that God has given you. Thank you so much for watching episode five of Dishes and Discipleship. I hope that these thoughts inspire great discipleship opportunities within your own homes as you seek to live gracefully during very hard times right now. Uh, if you have liked this video, please make sure to click like and do subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss the next episode. Thanks for watching.